A military intelligence compound has been attacked in the Afghan capital, Kabul. Two gunmen have been killed by security forces. Officers finally took control of the building from where the gunmen had been firing at the compound. A nearby university was also placed on lockdown. So far, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack. This latest assault comes as the country's security services struggle to deal with a spike in terror attacks. My friends and I were sitting an exam in class. The first period finished and we went out for break time. Afterwards, all the students returned to class. Two minutes later, a bomb suddenly went off. When I heard the sound, I couldn't feel anything. The United Nations continues to maintain there can be no military solution to the conflict in that country. Political analyst Mushtaq Rahim believes that the new rise of militant groups in the country is a direct consequence of the U.S. and Afghan government's failure. The U.S. and international community has made so many mistakes over the course of last one and a half decade. Within Afghanistan, they have not been able to uh, put policies in place where they can earn the confidence of the Afghan public. The government itself has not been able to deliver good governance to, um, and, and, and they have not been able to respond to the needs of the general public, resulting in a loss of public confidence in the government as well as international assistance forces. The Americans did not uh, work together with the countries of the region, the powers of the region, such as countries in Central Asia, Russia, China, uh, and, and, and within Afghanistan to create a set of consensus where they can work together towards stability in Afghanistan. So many factors coming together that has been a result um, uh, in, in upsurge of Taliban as Taliban have been uh, successfully uh, coming forward and taking more areas.